When someone gets COVID-19, your home, your safe space isn't so safe anymore. Dr. Suzanne Shermer says start distancing immediately. Using a different bed, uh, different bathrooms, and if you have to be in the same room with someone, um, wearing a face covering because we know the most common way that this virus, like all viruses, uh, spreads is through droplets. And that includes not only coughing and sneezing, but even just simply talking within the same room. To monitor your condition, Dr. Shermer recommends using a thermometer and a pulse oximeter. The pulse ox detects how much oxygen is getting to your blood. It's just a simple little machine that goes on your fingertip and it gives you a reading and usually anything above 94% is pretty safe. If you drop below that, it's a little concerning. She also recommends using Tylenol to reduce aches and pain and to get up and moving around the house. Take deep breaths and get up and walk around for five or 10 minutes every hour just to keep your lungs uh, processing that fluid and keep it from building up. And of course, if you see those symptoms starting to get worse, they are telling you to, of course, go to the hospital. So some of the things that you have to start thinking about uh, when you're taking care of yourself at home and making sure you're not putting others in danger. Yeah, and Jasmine, and we've seen the demonstrations with the droplets as well. So um, good advice there.